Well, hello, this is Rose here, and I would like to teach you a little bit about my quantum healing hypnosis therapy for past life regression. Both of them are quite similar to each other. It's just that with the quantum healing, I end up bringing you uh, into maybe a couple past lives, and then we go into the higher self. Um, or the, the subconscious, as uh, Dolores Cannon would say. This is the Dolores Cannon method. I did st I studied with Dolores in 2011. I would like to give you a little bit of background about um, my work with Dolores and when I first met Dolores in 2002 when I took, actually this Dorian's angel therapy practitioner who kind of moved them around. So you can see this is my certificate from the Dolores Cannon uh, course. In 2002 when I studied with Dorian Virtue, uh, it was a five-day course in Laguna Beach at the time, and um, it was the Angel Therapy Practitioner course. Dolores Cannon was a guest speaker there. She was, uh, um, I, uh, to be honest with you, I think I bought almost every one of the books that she had available at the time there, and I was very open to what she was teaching. Doreen um, had us go uh, disseminate out some information. If anyone's read any of her things about all the different uh, uh, beings that have come to assist humanity, and she had some of us go into groups and, and things like that. Eventually, I came to realize that uh, some of the, that, that Dolores is disseminating, Dor Doreen, I should say, is disseminating out the information that Dolores actually has discovered in many of her sessions. It's just that Doreen has a tendency to, she's a very elegant woman and she elegantly, eloquently um, uh, shares the information and people don't seem to look at her like she's got three heads, that's what I would say about her. You know, she uh, talks about the incarnated angels and elementals and all the other beings that are coming from the different, different realms that have come here to assist humanity. So anyway, through a sequence of events years later, I, I mean, I remember uh, Dolores' work. I had read some of the books that I had purchased. I didn't fully read all of them, to be honest with you, at that time. Um, I ended up being led back. I, I had I decided to do my own personal work, whether I was one of those beings or not. I figured if I, if I, um, you can, sometimes you can get lazy, and I didn't want to get lazy with my spiritual work. I could have just be just a regular person, even though I had the deep desire to assist humanity, that uh, I really wanted to make sure that I did my proper forgiveness work and took responsibility for the things in my life. But then what ended up happening is I ended up getting led to Dolores again, and as a result of that, I, she answered, it was an answer to a prayer because I had got to the point where I was uh, noticing um, quite repetitive things happening in my reality. So the reason why I'm going there is I, I did end up uh, being guided to take the quantum healing hypnosis with uh, Dolores and I am absolutely grateful for that. At that point in my journey I had gotten to the point as a healer and a teacher that I really wanted to get like my clients to the point where they were getting the answers for themselves inside anyway. And one of my teachers I had said to him, I said well there was something that he brought up, and this is a high level of truth, and I don't even want to totally touch on that, but he, he said, um, I, well, I said to him, I said, well, how can I serve my people? And he said, teach them how to go within. And then when I was led to Dolores' work, I thought, geez, this is really, this is really how, you know, how I can do that. Like, you know, I, I even try to do that with my healings. I really do. I sometimes even try to get people to do that in a reading. I just feel that I'm making such much more positive contribution to you than you'll even know or imagine. At first, you're probably going like, what's this bride trying to do? I came to her for a reading. Why is she trying to get me to get the answer for myself? Eventually, you realize that it was out of love that I was trying to do that for you because of the fact that, uh, if you get the answer for yourself, that's better than me giving it to you because you're eventually, Fredo, you create. You create. So who am I to tell you what you should be creating? But wouldn't it be better if you got what you needed to know to create what you want in your life? So anyway, enough of that. But we're going to go to my work as a, a quantum healing hypnosis therapist. Out of my love and respect for any of my teachers, I try to honor what they've taught me. And um, Dolores taught us how to do her modality, and I try my best to honor that. I also, like which, what I mean by that is she suggested, you know, a couple hours for them to tell you about their life. And um, and then you, you know, you end up uh, going through the questions, and then after that you go into the therapy. 
session and that can range sometimes I have had uh, an hour to uh, over two hours to suggest not to go beyond two hours but I had a couple clients sometime that just love where they were and didn't want to leave and I I tried my best to just make sure that they were okay while they were in the uh, slightly altered state and they ended up getting some wonderful answers and made some profound changes in their life I also want you to know though I don't just do Dolores' uh, work I do my own work as well I combine everything that I have when I do a quantum or a past life regression you are not just getting one modality you're getting anything that I know you, as long as you're in my presence and you're here with me I try to serve you to the best of my ability now what does that mean so say for example someone comes to me and they have never done any personal work on themselves I try my best to do as much healing work on you as possible while I'm talking to you or whatever uh, to assist you in releasing some things so that way if you need to go into the the hypnosis session it will be much easier for you um, for others so I, I I have noticed that if I'm like if I'm doing a reading for someone I will get more guidance about that person if you have, have come to me for a quantum session or a past life regression sometimes I won't get as much information and that is so just because of the fact that that way I am more objective when I'm working with you and a lot of times um, depending on where the person's um, at in their journey or whatever I don't want to influence your session so it, I might have to hold myself back while you're in the counseling part of the session and I won't be able to tell you some really important things that I would like to impart on you like knowledge I would like to impart on you until you actually go through the quantum session and get the answers that you've gotten and then after that I can make some suggestions to you so that way I don't influence your session at all so that is basically what I, I do when it comes to my uh, quantum healing work I feel that most of the people have uh, reaped a tremendous amount of benefit. Uh, sometimes their their higher self or their their over like if you want to call it the super conscious or as Dolores calls it the subconscious doesn't want to give them all the information in one session. There is the potential that that can happen, and it's only because it would not be the right time for you to have it. If you're not getting it, it's because it's just not time for you to have it. You are led to lifetimes, and you are led to places, in, you know, in the past or the future that are beneficial for you. Your spirit is in charge, and I am just there holding your hand. I just want you to know I am an empath, though. I do feel when I'm with you. I actually feel when you're ready to have an emotional uh, uh, experience while you're in the session and I just do my best to try to move you continuously through it or rise above it but not not to avoid it because there's a reason why it's being shown to you you don't necessarily have to re-experience it all over again but it might be really beneficial for you to go there because your spirit led you there anyway yeah, I do end up really getting close to my clients when I do a quantum with them. How can you not? They have to trust me. They they tell me their whole. They have to tell me their whole life story so that way I can facilitate for them, um, and be there and be able to bring them where they need to go. And uh, um, I love this work. I love all my work. I find everything that I do. I have. Uh, I do enjoy it. It, it has a different uh, dance to it, and. Um, I think that's pretty well. When it comes to your questions, uh, sometimes what I've done too with your questions, just so that you know, I have had some people come in with not that many questions, and as a result of that, I end up, um, I end up uh, by being in the session with them and in the counseling part and just talking to them and learning about their life, I'll end up asking them some extra questions that they might not even have thought of to ask, but when they're in the altered state, I know that it'll be beneficial for them to get those answers. I just kind of try to, uh, you know, give them as much as they possibly can get out of the session. And uh, anything else that I want to share? I have uh, intended to do an interview. I will be doing an interview with uh, uh, at least one of the people that I have done quantum with for you to just hear how they've had the experience with me. I do uh, love uh, the work that, that I do with the quantum. I am seeing uh, profound results. Now sometimes, oh, the instantaneous healing, some people are misinterpreting that sometimes 
and it, it, it instantaneous, instantaneous healing is possible and sometimes that's a bit of a shock for the person so what will happen is they actually will get a gradual healing process and they will be led along the way your spirit is in charge of that too I mean if it's going to be too too frightening for you to have an instantaneous healing all at once and your spirit will kind of work on you to have it as a gradual process and you must trust that that's just you know whatever is happening is for your highest good as well and um, for any of the the Dolores people that uh, uh, have studied Dolores's work I just want to share one thing and this is uh, I've observed this when I took the class and I I it's kind of bothered me and I'm just going to share it with you and you can take whatever you wish from it all right um, I know in some of her books she talks about the fact that, or actually some of her speaking engagements she talks about, you know, moving to a more liquid diet. I want you to please understand that, yes, if you are, if you are being drawn to do that, if your body's telling you to do that, if your spirit's telling you to do that, if your everything's telling you to do that, then by all means do that. And that could just be temporary, tra temporarily while you're going through a transitional piece but if your body starts telling you to start eating some solid foods or the odd time you might need a hamburger or something like that please please give that to your body you know sometimes people uh, get a little bit obsessive about things and it can be really detrimental for you um, uh, on the evolutionary scale process I've noticed for myself personally like you know uh, when I went to take the angel therapy uh, practitioner with Doreen she had suggested for us to you know let go of this let go of that let go of this when it came to foods and things like that and I did my best to adhere to that and yes it did work for me but at the same time I had already had a certain way of eating and it really kind of limits you and this life is not about living within limitations this life is about living and this work is supposed to be about enjoying your life so what I'm going to do is encourage you to really follow your heart you know and uh, if the uh, time you you want to have even a, a, an alcoholic beverage or something like that like don't don't beat yourself up about it just allow yourself to experience it. God is in everything God is in everything and um, and uh, as long as you're having positive experiences and you're not doing anything uh, ridiculous to ridiculous success, I can't imagine how it could prevent you from ascending and growing on Earth. Anyways, um, thank you so much for taking the time to hear about how I do my work and what I believe in. And I hope this is a beneficial video for you to assist you in assisting yourself or making a decision about whether you want to take quantum or do a quantum session with me or a past life regression. I have had sessions range, I'll be honest with you, um, from five to eight hours. I'm trying my best not to hit the eight hours as much anymore because it just ends up being a really, really long day for me. I mean, most of the clients were have benefited by it, you know, but I just want you to know that it has been ha it has happened before, I should say. Anyways, lots of love to you, and I look forward to working with you in the future if that would be beneficial for you. And I look forward to sharing with you again in any other video that you're attracted to watch. Bye for now.